In today's lesson, you will learn phrasal verbs that use the word cut. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you the phrasal verbs cut off, cut in, and I'll tell you how you can learn cut back, cut down and cut out. Cut off is pretty easy. It means to remove with a knife or scissors or something similar, or to separate things that are usually connected or related. So a sample sentence is, maybe I'll cut off some of my hair. You should know also that it is a separable phrasal verb. So it could also be used like, maybe I just cut a little bit of it off. So that would be like if I cut just a little bit off. It can also mean to stop or shut off suddenly, as in to cut off the water after the storm. It can also mean to interrupt or intercept, like a car cut me off when I was driving home and I almost had an accident because of it. Cut off also as one word or with a hyphen can also be used as a noun or an adjective. And in that case, it can mean a deadline, as in the cutoff date for becoming a member at the sale price is midnight tonight. And in that case, it's it's an adjective, the cutoff date. And as a noun, it can be used as the cutoff for becoming a member at the sale price is midnight tonight. It can also be used with the meaning as being something related to stopping something. As in, you should know where the water cutoff valve is in case you need to shut off your water in a hurry. Also, as a noun, it can mean shorts that have been cut from longer pants. And I have a pair of some cutoffs here. So these are some old cutoff jean shorts of mine. But really, they were made this way <laughs> and just made to look like they were cut from jeans. But they really came this way, like they were cut off from jeans. And I would have worn them for this video, but it's very cold here, and I would be freezing out if I was wearing shorts. Mm -hmm. Cut in can mean to interrupt and to try to join a conversation, as in, we were talking, but he kept cutting in. Or to stop two people who are dancing and take the place of one of them. For example, if a man wants to dance with a woman who is already dancing with someone else, he might say, may I cut in? You might hear it used this way in old movies or TV shows. It is, or at least was, considered a polite way of dancing with someone who's already dancing with someone else. Sometimes. It can also be used to include someone in a group of people getting money. You might hear this also in a movie or TV show, especially with people doing something illegal, like they almost killed him after he suggested they cut him in on the profits from the drugs they were smuggling. Now, if you want to learn cut back, cut down, and cut out, I didn't include them in this lesson, but I teach them in the online English course that I made. You can learn more about that up here. It's time for some more practice exercises. So fill in the blanks with either cut off as two words as a phrasal verb, or cut off is one word, word is an adjective or noun, or cut in. Number one, I can't believe he was so rude. We were having a nice conversation when he just suddenly blank. Number two, I'll blank a little and save it for later. And number three, the blank time for entering the contest was yesterday at noon. Now, check and see how you did. I read the full sentences with the right words in there. Number one, I can't believe he was so rude. We were having a nice conversation when he just suddenly cut in. Number two, I'll cut off a little bit and save it for later. Number three, the cutoff time for entering the contest was yesterday at noon. Now, I have a short homework assignment. Make a sentence in the comments with either cut off, as two words, or cut off as one word, or cut in in the comments, and I'll give you some feedback on that. That's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. 
And also, you can sign up to get emails to get more English help from me. And if you have the time, please stay here and watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible. What do you think, hope? Ah! Is it good enough, hope? I hope so. I hope you think so.